Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and now in this video we will start with value expression which will act as a replacement of append internal table operation. We all know append is a internal table operation which is used to insert the records at the last of the internal table. If you do not have the knowledge of append, you can simply refer the ABAP programming part one playlist. Now in SAP ABAP new syntax, what SAP is recommending, what SAP is saying, we can use the value expression instead of append statement to insert the records to at the last of the internal table, we can use the value expression instead of append statement. Now, what is value expression? It is a powerful utility. It is a powerful mechanism. With the help of that, you can declare and initialize the internal tables. What do you mean by declaring an initialization? Means you can declare a internal table and assign the values with the help of value expression. You can declare and assign the values to the internal table using value expression. And yes, it is a powerful utility because we can achieve the result. We are able to get the result by writing the less number of lines of code. At the initial level, we discussed when I started this topic, SAP ABAP new syntax is most efficient way because we are able to get the same to same result by writing the less number of lines of code. Now, value expression is of two types. Whenever we will use value expression, we will use by two ways or we can say value expression is of two types. What is first type? In the first type, we will declare the type before using it with value keyword. Now you all know type. I am talking about type here in terms of structure type and table type. So what is first way or we can say what is the first type of value expression? In that case, you will firstly declare the structure type or table type. Then you will simply use with value expression or you can say value keyword. Suppose if I will show you the example, you can see we have this particular value keyword. And what is this LTY underscore data? It is your structure type. So firstly, we declare the structure type and then we are using with this value keyword. Now you can see this is your LTTY underscore data. It is a table type. So firstly, we declare the table type and then we are using with this value keyword. So what is the first type of using the value expression? In that case, you will define the type before using it with the value keyword. And what are the various types you can use? You can use the structure type or table type. And what is the second way? What is the second way of using this particular value expression? We will use hash. We will use hash as a type and then we will use with this value keyword. We will use hash for type and we will use with this value keyword. And anyways, whenever I will do the practical, I will let you know also whenever you are going for hash, what you need to do at that point of time. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with value expression as a replacement of append statement or you can say append internal table operation. We all know 
the purpose of append is to insert the records at the last of the internal table. In SAP ABAP new syntax, what SAP is recommending rather than using the append, you need to use value expression. What is value expression? With the help of value expression, you can declare and initialize the internal table. Together, you will do both the things. You can go for declaration and assigning the values together. And yes, with the help of value expression, we can achieve the result by writing less number of lines of code. You can see the example also. Anyways, I will do the practical. Now, if I want to insert the records to the internal table using append. So how we are doing? Firstly, we are declaring structure type. It has two columns. And then we are declaring internal table and work area. If I want to insert the records to, the, to this internal table, how we are doing previously? One by one. Firstly, we are passing the data to work area. This is your work area. Then from work area, we are appending it to internal table. Same way, I'm going for second record. And in the definition, we are speaking at the last of the internal table. Why we are speaking last? Because this next record will go after the first record. This third record will go after this second record. That's why append always insert at the last of the internal table. And have you seen to insert the three records? I have written this much line of code and you can see the value expression in this line itself. We inserted all the three records. That's why I'm saying we are able to get the same to same result by writing the less number of lines of code. After that, we covered, yes, value expression is of two types. Now, in the first type, you will firstly declare the structure type or value type or structure type or table type, sorry. You will declare the structure type or table type before using it with value keyword. So we are declaring the structure type or table type and then we are using with this value keyword. In the second, in the second type, we are simply using hash and we are using with this value keyword. And whenever I will do the practical, I will let you know also whenever we will use hash, but the thing we must be taken care of. Anyways, Whenever we will do the practical, we will get the more more clarity. So in the next video, we will go for same to same approach, which we are following. Firstly, I will show you everything through append, append internal table operation. Then I will show you everything through value expression. We will firstly go for this way, this type. Then we will go for this particular type. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.